basketball coach in Detroit is accused of committing a major foul. We'll tell you what police say they found in his car along I-94. Old makeup sitting around your house could be dangerous for your health. You'll find out what to avoid and how to protect yourself. And Detroit's top police commissioner is faced with a controversy about why he doesn't live in the city. But first, breaking news in Romulus. A tragic accident on Ecorse Road where the driver of this mangled pickup truck was killed. Right now, Ecorse is closed between Middle Belt and Inkster Roads. Police are asking drivers to avoid the area they expect the road to be closed for a while. We will take you now to the scene of a double stabbing that happened near Wayne State University. Yeah, one person was killed in a violent battle at an apartment building. Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has the details for you from Detroit's Midtown. It was a fight in the lobby of the Cathedral Tower Apartments, a stabbing that turned deadly. Police say it involved two men who live here and may have been arguing. I got a call this morning around about 7, 7.30, something like that. Bernice, do not come downstairs because there is a homicide. I said, a homicide? What the Who's killing who? I saw the knife on the uh, lobby floor, blood, and the police. The apartment building on Hancock is near the campus of Wayne State University, and so their officers were first to respond and find one of the men dead. The other was rushed to the hospital. Homicide investigators from Detroit police later arrived to pick up on the investigation and were told that while a number of Wayne State students live here, the two men involved did not attend the university. One of them lives near James Minter. A nice guy. Puerto Rican guy. Is he a student at Wayne State or what? No, he's not a student. He's on, no, he's just like on SSI. He's not, you know, he's not a student, nothing like that, though, no. Police tell us that while both men were stabbed, only one knife was used. And so right now they're trying to figure out if this was a case of self-defense. We've never had this problem before in this building. But since they had these youngsters coming in, in other words, you know, it used to be nothing but a senior building. We have uh, interns from the medical center, and then plus we have the students from Wayne State, and then you have quite a few of the undesirables. Let's put it like that, okay? In Midtown, Kimberly Craig, Channel 7 Action News.